Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 40. In this training tutorial, we're gonna focus on setting up and working with our Alpha N style strategy. This is throttle position based tuning. We have a variety of different applications this might apply to. So depending on what your engine you're gonna be working with, you might be having to tune and calibrate using Alpha N. Now we're gonna be looking at both naturally aspirated and force injection examples here so you can implement and set up your Alpha N properly so you can dial in your engine. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with Alpha N style tuning with our Haltech Elite systems using our NSP software. Our Alpha N style tuning strategy is going to be when we change our input to our fueling table here, to whether it's speed density, injection time base, or fuel flow rate base, we're changing our fuel load from map pressure to throttle position. This is going to allow us to track throttle movement and express either the fueling delivery through injection time base or fuel flow rate based strategy, or if we're dealing with speed density, volumetric, volumetric efficiency style strategy here, we'll be expressing the air mass that's entering our engine. So in either situation, whatever strategy you're working with, we can implement the alpha N style tuning by simply switching our load units here from fuel load map pressure to fuel load throttle position. Now, as I'm talking about this real quickly here, traditionally we're going to find that this is going to be applying to a naturally aspirated engine. So individual throttle bodies or big camshafts or a single large throttle body. So something that's very large, 120, 150 millimeter throttle body. In all of the situations, that's where we traditionally run alpha N naturally aspirated. Although we can run alpha N and boost, the situation might present itself. We'll get into a specific situation with a rotary engine here. I take a look at a sample calibration file, but we'll find the most common uh, alpha N style strategy with boost is going to be a GTR Skyline. So R32, R33, R34 GTRs, RB26 engine that has individual throttle bodies with a plenum and obviously it's turbocharged, seeing boost pressure. So in those situations, Nissan actually calibrated those with a mass airflow sensor. That's the easiest way to dial those in, but we can tune them with alpha N style strategy and we can go have a boost compensation in place so that it's going to be able to track what the boost pressure is doing and deliver the fueling properly. So we're going to get into those specifics a little bit later in the tutorial, but the beginning here, I want to focus on this naturally aspirated um, type of situation you might, might be finding yourself in again, depending on um, what the engine configuration you're going to be tuning is. So when we're on the topic of individual throttle bodies, individual throttle bodies will have one throttle body per cylinder. And as we're actuating the throttle, we're going to be letting a huge amount of airflow coming into each cylinder. And what we'll find is if we're tuning it based on map pressure, which is our default fuel load value here, we might pull reasonable vacuum, something like 20 or 18 inches of vacuum here, let's say at part throttle, so we're very light throttle. But if we crack the throttle blades, we crack our throttle plates open, we're going to find that it jumps here from vacuum right here to pretty much zero PSI. It's going to do that instantaneously. And the key here, it's going to be doing that at very low throttle angles. So we don't necessarily have to be at wide open throttle to hit atmospheric pressure as we would with a single throttle body. With individual throttle bodies, we're going to have this transient type of behavior where we're going to go from decent vacuum to pretty much atmospheric pressure, and we're going to be excluding all of our cell points in our table here. This is going to lead to inconsistency in our fueling delivery and definitely will notice the performance of the engine suffer. So individual throttle bodies are going to be a case when we're essentially moving through the table here and missing a lot of the resolution or data points. Um, depending on our throttle angle and how everything's going uh, in terms of our driving characteristics. If we have a big single throttle body, 120, 150 millimeter throttle body, something huge, we'll find that same type of effect as we found with individual throttle bodies, where if the throttle plate is tipped open just a little bit, we could go here from reasonable vacuum readings right to essentially zero PSI. And again, we'll be missing all of our resolution here in the table and we won't properly deliver fueling to the engine or in the case of speed density, we won't be estimating the airflow properly. We'll be essentially skipping around here and uh, it won't give consistency in our fuel delivery. Now, if we're in a situation with a big camshaft, big lift, big duration on the cam, lots of overlap, you could pull really poor vacuum. Let's say at idle, you're pulling something like six inches of vacuum here. So you're right here in the table. As you're driving around, you're essentially gonna be working between let's say six inches of vacuum and zero PSI. You'll have this range to be able to characterize the, the air mass for speed density VE, if you're in fuel flow rate or injection time-based, you'll find that this is all you're going to have in order to provide that fueling 
to the engine. So you have a very limited band of operation here, and this will not give you really good consistency and re re repeat. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.